Hey, good morning, guys. Tush coming at you. Sunday, October 26th, and just coming up to, or just after 10:20 in the morning. Kind of a nasty day today. Pretty windy and cold, and we got about uh, 11 degrees Celsius, around 52, 53 degrees Fahrenheit in the garage. Actually, really windy. The wind's really uh, blowing hard and uh, whipping all the uh, leaves around on the ground. Still have some leaves left on the tree. It's definitely uh, not looking so good. Winter's definitely coming. And you can see it's pretty bare over there. And this one now is bare as well. So I gotta cut the grass one more time. Maybe chop up some of these leaves. Anyway, another day. Uh, we're back on the 60 TR3 today. And uh, the objective for today is to put the, uh, to put the grill in. And I've been waiting to do that for a while. The first time I attempted it, I ended up uh, chipping the uh, paint on the front apron and ended up having to repaint. So we're going to resist the urge to do that again. Um, had a little bit of a badge discussion going on. Here's the original badge from this car. It's got a little bit of patina to it, as you call it. Um, those are the original uh, Triumph lettering as well. And they are uh, a little worse for wear, but they don't look too bad. I was going to go with the uh, the new and improved, I don't know if it's necessarily improved, but it's new uh, grill badge. You can see the color slightly different from the other one. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. It's more of a turquoise versus a, uh, a navy blue. So I think what we're going to do actually is we're probably going to go with the, uh, the original badge. It fits better on the car anyway. It lays down a lot flatter along the uh, radius of the, uh, of the apron, so I think we'll stick with the old badge. This badge, I think, was probably 150 bucks, so uh, probably not a wise investment, especially if it's going to now sit in my sit in my desk as a paperweight. So, anyway, we made a decision. We'll go with that. So I'll put the uh, spire nuts on the back of that. Those are what the spire nuts look like. Uh, they're slightly larger for this badge. Um, I didn't have spire nuts for the smaller letter, so what I ended up doing, and I don't know if I can get down here. Uh, you see a little bit of shrink tubing there. Well, I used some white shrink tubing and just put that on the back of the letters to keep it in there. I've got to clean that up uh, over there a little bit, but uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not, but that was my solution to keep the front letters on. And if I want to get them off, uh, I can get them off fairly easily. But you can see the studs there, I think, for the uh, the large badge. So uh, you can see they're slightly larger than the uh, studs for the letters. So anyway, we'll get that fixed on there first, um, and we'll probably do a larger shrink tubing for that. And then uh, what we'll do is we'll put the fiberboard um, radiator uh, shroud in which is uh, sitting over back here which has been painted uh, the color of the car which is supposed to be that's uh, probably about five coats of paint on that if you can believe that it really uh, cardboard really soaks it up I guess that's why it's got some uh, longevity uh, to it afterwards with all that paint in there sealing it so that's what the plan is for this morning so we'll uh, endeavor to do that without damaging the car and we'll come back with a report later on. Alright guys, well the shrink tubing didn't work so well for the back of the uh, the large badge so we've uh, resorted to going uh, with the spire nuts that I ordered. Um, I was hoping to be able to use the uh, shrink wrap tubing uh, in it to be able to get the badge off fairly easily to be able to clean behind it or wax the car or whatever. Once the spire nuts are on it's going to make it a little bit more difficult to remove the badge so Anyway, we'll do what we've got to do. The reason I'm going with the Spire Nuts is uh, it holds the uh, badge more flush to the face of the apron. Um, it was still sticking out a little proud with uh, just the application of the uh, the shrink wrap tubing. So we've gone to the Spire Nuts. Incidentally, if anybody wants a part number, uh, FP1005 from the Roadster factory is the part number for the Spire Nuts for the badge. All right, guys. All right, guys, just coming up to 20 to 1, and the grill's now in. Managed to get it in without any damage, which was a good thing. So uh, all that's left really to go on the front end now is to do a bumper, and we're going to do a custom bumper. I'm going to make something up. I've got a couple of nice uh, Lucas, uh, Lucas period correct uh, driving lamps that are going to go uh, on the front of the bumper just below the grill, uh, sort of towards the middle where those holes are, where the holes are. So we're going to do uh, fabricate some sort of bumper for it. I have an idea what I want to do, probably with a one inch or a three quarter inch tubing, and uh, we'll probably get that chromed. 
anyway, that's what she looks like. We'll come back later. So I've been thinking a little bit more about the bumper, so I went and grabbed the, uh, the bumper for the car. Uh, it's not quite complete, this one. It actually was supposed to have some overriders that go uh, vertical on this spot here. So they look pretty much like the bumperettes on the rear of this car because they've been removed from this bumper. Anyway, I was thinking of possibly using this bumper, but uh, maybe plasti, plasti dipping it uh, in like a flat black to match the stripe and then mounting that and then having mounts for the two um, Lucas lights, you know, in around here coming up. So that's a thought. You can uh, make a comment on what you think that might be a good idea or a bad idea. So that bumper would be black and then we'd have some nice uh, chrome uh, lights coming off behind it. So anyway, thoughts on that would be good. Talk to you later. So I just thought I'd throw a quick video up of what the bumper looks like or it would be close to looking like on the car if I decided to go with it. That's about where it would mount. Um, it would go in a little tighter to the body. Uh, probably by about a half an inch. Those jack stands are just outside a little bit. I'll show you the edge look. So you can see it's just slightly out from the car. So it'd be a tighter fit than that. So anyway, that's where the bumper would sit. So I'm thinking, uh, like I said, black plasti dip possibly to match the stripe, flat black. And like I said, then I've got those two uh, nice Lucas period lights. It would probably go around, see, if you see where the H is on Triumph, that's where the light would come up in the middle of the grill and probably around the R on the other side. So you can imagine a couple of nice chrome lights coming off up to that, uh, off the bumper on top. That's what she'd look like. Anyway, thoughts on that would be great. Talk to you later.